Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Design Highlight. In this video, we'll take a look at MX LCY. Why would you just call MX? So MX is a number of really cool sci-fi designs here. What particularly caught my eye was this one right here and this one. Essentially, when I looked at this thumbnail, I thought something about this looks like a caterpillar. Something about this looks very familiar. So I clicked on it. And I was very delighted to see that right here for the reference image, this caterpillar was used. So what's amazing about this is that MX took this kind of caterpillar design with the kind of uh, horns and the coloration and the little legs here, and it made this machinery based on that. So just seeing these little horn type things instantly made me think of how a caterpillar kind of like gets up and looks around here. So I think this is a very interesting design. So very much like the color scheme uh, the shapes, the distribution of detail, so very nice. I also like this little uh, design right here. And this one right here reminds me, uh, it's called a butterfly, but it reminds me more of a flying bat. Just because this right here reminds me of a bat's head and the wings as well, so very kind of interesting animal insect inspired design. I also very much like these little, these little scenes. I very much like the design. Of these buildings i like how there's sand encrusted in the edges and the corners and so this to me seems like a very nice place to live well if, if you're in a desert with very little life this is probably the best place you can find and here is another one so it's almost like i don't know if diorama is the right name but it's not like a full environment with you know the background sky and everything but it's just this nice little building nice little scene MX has put what they're inspired by. I always like when artists are very honest and truthful about what inspires them and actually put all the things. So you can see that, that MX really likes presentation. They put the central building, they put the side views, the, what, the uh, clay view, just the color scheme without any shading, the colors used. So MX puts a good amount of time showing you how they made the image and what the references were used. And I really very much appreciate that they even took the time to render a 360 view all around. So remember guys, it's not just about the modeling and everything else you do. One thing, one very important tip I can give you guys is that when you finally finish your model, don't get lazy at the end. Take the time to create a proper presentation. Show people your wireframes, show the 360 animation, you know, take a few extra hours or days don't be in a rush. Don't be tired. You've put a lot of work into your designs. So take the time to give a good presentation, guys. Don't get lazy at the end. So there are there are 3D models and sci-fi designs, but there's also traditional 2D designs and characters as well. A lot of uh, Asian type drawings. So I always appreciate artists who have a wide variety of styles and designs they do and even creation styles from 2D to 3D, drawing with pen, paper, pencil, painting, everything. So be sure to check out MXLCY. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching and take care.